uh, on the Gold Coast and was leading after those first five throws, but was passed by a country woman of mine, Sarah Mitten, who went on to uh, to clinch that victory. But fantastic. Um, so that was Rachel Fatherly, who just is our final competitor to open her first throw there. She uh, holds an indoor personal record of 18.44. That was actually set at this facility, so very familiar with throwing in this uh, acclaimed indoor stadium here. Seven-time USA track and field championship qualifier and was 12th at last summer's U.S. outdoor championships. You hear about them necessarily in the throws. <laughs> you always think sprinters and hurdlers and whatnot right away when you think of Jamaicans, but the Jamaicans have really come on in the throws in the past decade. They've got three really accomplished male discus throwers. They've had a couple of females. So a, a second throw there for Emma Callahan, a, a slight improvement, 14.87 over her 14.66 opening throw. Katie Fair there taking her second throw, the Northern Iowa athlete against so many um, Iowa athletes, both University of Iowa, Northern Iowa, competing at this great facility today. Yep, and that was a pretty much bang on what she threw her first, so I think maybe a little bit better. She was 15.95 on the first. This has got to be close to that, if not a little bit further. Yep, look at that, three centimeters. Good <laughs> so call, Paul. Slight, slight improvement. <laughs> So that that was the uh, the athlete. What I think was I think the coolest name in the field, Majoy Williams, <laughs> doesn't look too happy with it. But like I said, she's got more throws to get get in her rhythm and find her groove. Speaking of great names, here's Cat Moody, another University of Iowa athlete. Nice oh, speed there. Look much better. Dipped her right shoulder a little bit on the as she came into the middle of the circle. So the women actually should be more efficient at spinning but they haven't for whatever reason so i'm liking to see almost all these women spinning absolutely all right well here we go for her second throw i love watching her speed maybe she could be a sprinter she's quick <laughs> she sure is and i love the focus those eyes closed visualizing what she's going to do going through the movements before it actually happens not messing around there uh, another mark over the 18 not as good as her first throw Seemed to miss the contact on the ball at the end a little bit. But uh, yeah, she'll get there. 19-12 to start. This one's probably just a little over 18. But there's more in the tank there for sure. She knows she missed that throw. Solid second throw there for Rachel Fatherly. Again, 15.30 as her opening mark. Yeah, this looks to be close to a meter further than that, so she's stepping her way up here. And it is 16.27, nice improvement for her. That's inching ever closer to the leader, to Neil Thompson Dodd, Thomas Dodd, pardon me. So third throw for Emma Callahan. Seemed to hit that one a little bit better. I think this is going to be an improvement for her, hopefully over the 15-meter mark. I believe she's... a. Uh, 1650 thrower at her best so a little bit off of that but definitely uh moving in the right direction still early season still january mid-january okay here's katie fair now okay close to the 16 meter mark for katie she's been so consistent so far with that 15.95 15.98 yeah right in that same ballpark again Soon as it left his hand, he threw his arms up in the air knowing he had a big throw, and sure enough, it was the world record. So, Well, we're waiting for that to happen. We see another throw here uh, for a cat from Cat Moody. She's the best of 1440 so far in the competition, had a foul on her second. This one looks far better. This bumps her up to fourth place, yeah, 1561, so came straight out to the track here. Okay, here here we go again for Daniil Thomas Dodd, her third throw. Hoping we can get up over this 19 meter mark and approach uh, Mitten's world lead. Well, again, that opening throw of 19-1-2, so close to her indoor personal best of 19-2-2. Another oh. huge throw. Yeah, she's super consistent hitting over that 18 meter line. That looks again like a mid 1850 don't think quite quite hitting her 19 meter mark but uh 
definitely consistent right now and at a very solid level. So that one is an 1860 for her third throw. Okay, Rachel Fatherly in here in the ring now. I have Danielle down here with me. She has thrown 1912 so far. And the only thing she had to tell me was that she feels good about it. She feels okay. Give me a little bit something. I mean, it is my first uh, meet for the indoor season. I haven't thrown one of the indoor balls in a very long time. So I was a little bit nervous coming in, trying to, you know, figure out how it was going to feel. But I think I've done pretty good so far, you know, for not having, you know, competed a lot indoors in the past couple of years. So I think that's a really good opener. And I did it on my first throw. So I'm just kind of working out some kinks right now with my technique. So that's all I'm focusing on is trying to, you know, be consistent in some of my movements. Season opener and first throw. Yes. So you're feeling good right now. Yes. Tell me about what you do to make sure you're in the zone to throw that far. Um, honestly, I just focus on myself. Um, I never worry about, you know, the competition, who's in the competition, you know, what's going on around me. I kind of just, you know, kind of like the horse with the blinders on um, in competition. And then, you know, once the competition is done, I usually just let loose. But for the most part, I just focus on myself. All right, you got two more throws. Yep. You ready? Yeah, I will be. All right, that's what I like to hear. And you know what I picked up from that uh, interview? That she is every bit of 5'5", five five because <laughs> Serenity's not that tall, and Serenity was towering over her, so that's really impressive. And I love her Jamaican spirit, too. She's just a, seems like a very happy-go-lucky lady. And she will take to the sector again for her penultimate throw. We should mention that that fourth toss was 18.77, so the consistency has been really remarkable, as you mentioned, Paul. I mean, again, it seems as though this woman, although she might be a bit hit and miss sometimes with... Uh, you know, with, within a, with, with, with a competition, within that competition, her throws are quite consistent, and she is firing from all cylinders today in this season opener of the 2023 season. Very consistent and routine out of the back, and then right there, that looks actually a lot better. There it is. Oh, nice. but she oh. came out of the circle. But that looked like a, a really good throw, and Just I think she knows it. Got too excited almost. She wanted to see it right away. I think I was just about to mention how fast her speed is on that spin, and it seemed to kind of get the better of her on that one. She got after that one. That's the thing. when a, If a shot putter really gets after it, it's hard for them to stay in the circle. So it looks like Majoy Williams in the circle. Got, got her team behind her. Oh, unfortunately stepped out the front as well. As we watch this final throw here, Oh, that was actually a, a sector foul there. So not a bad distance, but unfortunately out of the sector. This is Kat Moody on her final attempt. Let's see, her best mark so far is just short of 16, 15, 94. It doesn't look like she hit the 16 meter line, but I think that girl has some talent. I can see it in her. She's just not quite hitting her position at the release. You can see her right shoulder dipping down to the right. Uh, definitely has more in the tank. Seems super athletic and strong, but uh, just not quite timing things up right now. 16.51 was the mark she set at this facility just last month. Let's see if she can eclipse that on her final throw today. Oh, and she definitely got after that nice one. Nice release. But I think just short of the 16-meter uh, the line as well. It looks like her 16.25 and third place finish is going to be the best for her today, but uh, still very solid accomplishment. Well, that looks like a a best throw by Rachel Fatherly. I think this is very near her best of the day, if not beyond it. Oh my gosh, way further. 17.08 actually, so a huge wow. throw for Rachel Fatherly uh, compared to her others today. This is a, her best by more than two feet, 17.08. Here we are, final throw of the competition. Let's see if Daniil can eclipse her first throw of the of the day. Uh, not her best one. Well, hey, 19-meter throw. I'm sure she's more than thrilled with uh, coming in here and, and putting one out over 19 meters. That's uh, kind of a gold standard for women's shot put. I, I equate 19 meters to 21 meters in the guys. And, you know, if you throw over 19 meters, you're definitely in the top 15 in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and she did, we should mention, uh, she did end up setting the facility record, which was formerly held by Rachel Fatherly at 18 Point four four meters that goes back to 2020 on this same weekend. So, Danielle Thomas Dodd taking not only the win and what is most likely her best ever season opener, but also the facility record in the process. Record, 
gold medal, the best season's best you've ever had. Tell me how you're feeling. I'm actually so, so, so excited because it is my first meet ever indoors that I've opened up this far. So it kind of shows me that I'm trending in the right direction. And I, I honestly just want to say injury free because last season, my first meet indoors actually hurt my foot. So and it followed me all throughout the season. So I'm so happy finished the meet injury free. And that's, you know, usually all anyone can hope for. And for you to win off of your first throw, there must be some type of vengeance in there. You know, you came out hard today. So tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always good to be able to, you know, on your first throw, like keep your composure and just, you know, do all the things that you, you've been training to do. So I think like for me, um, that's a really big plus because I've struggled with like being consistent with some of my areas that I want to focus on in my technique. And so for me to come out today and on the first throw, like, you know, just put one together, I was so excited. And, and I don't know if you saw, like I try to you know, go after one of them, which was really good because I'm, I'm trying to challenge myself a little bit when it comes on to being a little bit more risky. So um, I think for me, that's a big plus. You got so excited you ran out of the rink. Now, what I love about this meet is that it's a mix of professionals and collegians. So tell me what you would give advice to some of the collegians out here today. Um, I would just say, you know, always just trust in, trust the process, um, to be honest, because I remember being in their shoes at some point and I, I got so frustrated. But then, you know, once I've, you know, worked on a few things and, you know, try to be consistent and that's my big word is consistency. And I think like if they can just trust what they're doing and trust what, you know, them and their coach are working on, I would say definitely that's a big, that's a big part of the process of being a thrower. So I would say definitely be more confident and just be, be trust, trusting in your coach and, and be consistent. All right. Inspirational. Congratulations. Thank you. Inspirational indeed. Thank you so much, Serenity. Again, congratulations to our winner, Daniil thomas Dodd. I love what she said about, again, finding that balance between taking risks and, uh, and also, you know, not doing anything silly to, to put yourself in a position to get injured. Um, but that consistency that she talked about and then being such a great mentor and a role model for some of these collegiates and younger athletes, you know, a 30-year-old multiple-time, you know, a championship medalist, really fantastic to have that, uh, that kind of, you know, star power out here inspiring the next generation of throwers. Absolutely. And, you know, opening up in 1912, she was playing with the house's money so she could afford to go a little bit crazy and, and gamble with that, uh, that fifth row that she was talking about. I would love to get a measurement on that third throw. I'm sorry, on that fifth throw, because I'm sure it was well in excess of 1912. But, uh, you know, save something for later in the season. We are still in January. There's that's a lot right. left to go. Yep, that's it.